Granny, no, no. When I was little, my daddy took me to see my granny. Willie came too. I love my granny. Granny and daddy had a cup of tea. Granny is daddy's mummy. <laughs> That's funny. Can you tell me a story about daddy? I asked granny to tell me the story about when daddy was little. I think we'll wait until daddy's gone. No, said granny, later. You'd be a good girl for granny when daddy's away. I wanted to help granny, so I took daddy's cup of tea away for her. Oh, no, sweetheart, just leave that because let granny... No, said granny, be careful. Granny will take care of Granny said no a lot. Yes. Dad's going to go away. Mm. You bet. When girl. Daddy left, I had my granny to myself. I'll see you later. I like having to take here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Granny told me the story about how Daddy made a mud pie. And yeah. about the mud pie pie. Well, he was carrying a great big tin full of mud. He said, I've made you a mud pie. This is for you, Mummy, and for Jean. <laughs> I wanted to make a mud pie too. I wanted to make Granny laugh like Daddy. I looked for a tin to fill with mud. Clever girl. No. But I don't think we can be making any mud pies today. No, said Granny. I wanted to actually make a mud pie. That's a heavy one. Granny had lots of exciting things around her house. Granny says that everything tells a story. I saw a big knife. What's that, Granny? Granny said that was Great Granddad's knife. Can I see, I said. No, said Granny, mustn't touch. Granny had a big glass bottle. When you look through the glass, it made everything move and bend. Careful, darling, no, no. When I tried to touch the bottle, Granny said no. Granny said no a lot. Granny has a staircase in her house. I love to run up and down Granny's staircase. No, Tig. Don't run up and down the stairs, dear. I don't want you to fall. No running on the stairs. Granny, no, no. Hey, Tig. Granny doesn't just say no. She says yes, too. But there'd be no fun to say yes if Granny didn't sometimes say no. And Granny's nose keeps you safe. No to spilling hot tea. No to touching sharp knives. No to running and falling down the stairs. So try thinking of all the things to do that will let Granny say yes. Yes to playing with your toys. Yes to asking for stories. Yes to showing you the treasure box. Come on! Hey and Tig, why don't you tell Granny how much you love her too? Yes, I thought. I love my Granny. I want to do things so Granny can say yes. Love you, Granny. I love Aww. you, Granny. Oh, I take, darling, I love you too. Can I look at the treasure box? Of course you can. Yes, said Granny. Can I put the jewels on? Yes, said Granny. Ooh. Granny saw Willy. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. It's only a toy spy. <sighs> but you can cuddle Willy, yes. I want to find a ring. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were busy. I'll tell you what, why don't busy. I get my stuff done and then I'll meet you at the vendors? When I was little, my mummy and daddy had a very busy day. Me and Wooly had a busy day too. I was busy doing my jigsaw. Mummy and daddy were busy talking. Talk, talk, talk. Off we go. But well, my jigsaw, I said. Okay. Rush, rush, rush. We got into the car. Where's Willie? Where's 
is Wooly. Daddy stopped the car. At least the brakes work, said Mummy. Mummy picked up Wooly. Wooly was just doing your jigsaw. Wooly was trying to do the jigsaw. So was I. Daddy drove to the garage. Mummy rushed off. We went into a room with a window. We saw the car go up into the air. A man came to talk to Daddy. Why are you talking about it, Dad? Daddy's busy. In a minute, said Daddy. Talk, talk, talk. Whiz! The wheels came off the car. The wheels went back on the car. Hooray! The wheels worked. Daddy drove us to the printers. Hi there. Hi there. I'm supposed to be meeting my wife here. Right. Talk, talk, talk. Printing for a presentation document. What are you talking about, Daddy? In a minute, said Daddy. Mummy came through the door. Oh, hi. Hi there. Mummy! Daddy left to go to work. Bye. I need to get... Talk, talk, talk. ...size print scan to PDF and about... Mummy, what are you talking about? about? Yeah, Just I in could, a minute, Ted. Mummy's busy. In a minute, so said Mummy. Do you want to do some drawing for me? Mummy gave me some drawing. Come on, here we go. One, two, three. Whee! Oh, sorry about that. That's OK. So... I drew a sun. Like Mummy a sun. Just in a minute, Tig. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Talk, talk, talk. I didn't like Mummy always busy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when no one listens to you. It's not nice when no one looks at your pictures. But, Tig, Mummy and Daddy are having a busy day. You need to let them be busy. When Mummy and Daddy are busy, you need to be busy too. You've done one drawing, so why not do some more drawings? Why not make your very own jigsaw? Well, you've got one piece of your jigsaw, a sun. Here's another piece. What's that, do you think? A roof. For a house. There's one half of your jigsaw. All you've got to do now is finish off the other half. What are you going to put under the sun? Tig. Yes, Tig. A picture of you would look great there. Go for it, Tig. Get busy. Yes, I thought. I can be busy too. Oh, well done, Tig. You've been so busy. You've done a jigsaw. The printer man made another of my jigsaws for Daddy. So when nice. the printer man saw Willy, he made a face. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like Mummy and Daddy being busy. I like being busy too. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. I can't see a couple up there. Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Willy came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling. And it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked in the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, 
we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel and Louise! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We will wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh, you just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. Dog barking, woof woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can see a tummy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. Hi! Hi. Angel, Tummy and Louise. Hello. <laughs> we explored all the adventure playthings. We made lots of noise in the wood. <laughs> It wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Willy. We've been scared since we were here. The painting day, when I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Willie came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. We painted lots. That is such a good picture. Do you need to go to the toilet, Tick? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Tig, are you okay there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. The man was very clever. Yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited, I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. Yeah, I think so. No, I said, I wanted to see the funny picture. It's funny. 
a lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Machines? No. No what? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilets. Hey Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh, it's only a toy spider! I love Willie.